What's up everybody, it's Spencer coming at you today to talk about the Sig Sauer P365 and the 365X. Uh, I love this platform, it's my EDC. I carry the P365X with the red dot on it. I don't actually have the slide with the red dot on it right now. I had some bad things happen. Uh, I had to send it back off to SIG. I'll be talking about that when I get it back. But basically I had my P365 that I wanted to put the handle on. So I figured it's a very easy process to customize, to change out the grip module. This is the actual P365 grip, not the X. Um, and so I'm basically going to put the slide of the X on the grip of my XL. It's the Spectre grip. I really like it. It's got the two more in the mag. Um, obviously you can put those mags in this grip as well, but I definitely prefer the texture on that grip over this grip. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So whether you're going from a P365 to an a P365X or the other way around from an X to a regular P365, this is the simplest way to do it. It's so easy. It takes very minimal tools, um, but we will get started. And so you start by obviously making sure it's clear. We don't have a mag in there um, and there's nothing in the chamber. So we lock it back, push up our thumb, uh, our, our slide stop as we get up there. Then the only way you can do this is if the slide stop is up but we push this little lever down here. We're gonna to wanna to keep that down the entire time. This is gonna help us uh, basically throughout the whole thing. Otherwise, sometimes our slide stop likes to come off and that's not something we want. It's a pretty easy fix, um, but it can be frustrating if you don't know that it's gonna happen. So from there, we release the slide stop, let the pistol come forward and then we push it off of the slide. Uh, this, it takes off the entire slide up here. Um, and then from there, we just have the FCU in the handle. So this is, uh, it's a little bit easier after your first time, but what I, use, I usually do is I use a punch set. Um, you can use pretty much anything that's small enough to get in there, like a bobby pin maybe. Um, or some type of needle, but it is going to be more difficult the first time that you do it. After that, it becomes pretty easy. Um, not that it will ever fall out on you, but you just take your punch. I use a 330 seconds and you push down this little pin here. Now, be careful, this pin does come all the way out. It's very little, you don't wanna lose it. So put it somewhere where you know you're not going to. Um, and then from there, you just pull the trigger and it pops up and this is your FCU. So again, in this video, we are going to go from a 365X to a just plain 365. Uh, I probably am going to switch back after this video because of how much I like my grip and the texture. But to insert it, to reinsert it, you just have to uh, slide it in here and it goes from the top and just basically fits in. You gotta make sure you're all the way down. And see like there, it popped down. We don't wanna lose it. So we've got it in now. Um, it is ready to go. We gotta put our pin in it. And to put our pin in it, you just reinsert it and it should just slide right through. Sometimes you have to use some sort of something to beat it in a little bit. It's a good tight fit. It does not just fall out on its own. You really have to push it out or uh, push it back in. But then from there, we just put our slide back on. Um, we do need to make sure that this is up, or I'm sorry, down. So we push this slide lock up Make sure that this is facing down, our takedown lever is facing down, and we slide it over. Now, it worked perfectly fine this time. Uh, something I run into pretty frequently is the, I believe it's, I can't remember what, it, what it's called, but this little lever right here gets pushed up, and so what that'll look like is you'll try to push it on, it won't go over. Um, all you need to do is use your finger, push it down, and it slides over. That happens probably every, every, 
three times that I do it, one out of every three times. Um, but just lock it back. You will want to release it, dry fire it a few times, make sure it works, you know, that you put it in correctly and that everything's firing correctly. Um, and that is how you change from a P365 to a P365X. They are all interchangeable. Um, if you have the right barrel and slide, you can even change a 365 into an XL. It all just depends on what slide you have. You can get custom ones made, um, which the grips on those are pretty nice. This isn't a terrible grip texture, um, but I definitely, definitely like something a little bit uh, more similar to this. So I'm gonna do it at speed and let you guys just kind of see just how easy it is to actually change out these handles um, instead of me teaching you and coaching you through it. Um, just kind of do it how I would do it if I were on my own. I mean, it is so easy. And probably 30, 45 seconds worth of work. Um, just absurdly easy. And that's how you do it. So as you can tell, it's a pretty simple process to get that changed out. Um, and it's just to get it taken down, it's one pin, it's the FCU comes out, it goes into your new handle. It is one of the easiest things um, for you to change on your P365. And you know, if that's something that you like, it's a different texture. I think this, the Spectre grip was like 60 bucks. It is a Sig Sauer. Um, grip it isn't not it's not an aftermarket um, it's not from another company it's actually from sig uh, so check that out i think it was like 60 bucks um, which i do enjoy it carrying it quite a bit it is not too rough it doesn't rub me um, terribly and i enjoy it quite a bit so hopefully this helped i will see you guys on the next one